Good evening again, brothers and sisters. First of all, I would like to thank a Filipina comedian by the name of uh, her stage name is uh, Pokwan, a comedian. Pokwan. Her, I think her baptism name is uh, Marietta Subong. Maybe not. So, Pokwan, I thank her because she is merciful. Why? Because she offers shelter for the Miss Universe, Miss Universe of Myanmar. Because Miss Unif Universe of Myanmar cannot go back to Myanmar. If she goes back to Myanmar, she will be put in jail by the military, the, by the brutal military junta. That is why, on considering that, you Filipina comedian by the name by 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 the name of uh, Pok Wan offers shelter for the Miss Universe of Myanmar. She is so merciful like the other like all other filipinos so thank you why because the reason i'm talking about this is that uh, from the first reading i will uh, first point will be mercy why because uh, it says that uh, show us the light of your mercies the first let us see Send us, and uh, after a few lies, there is another one. Show mercy to the people, God, God by your name. So, from the first reading, for my first part of reflection is mercy. I'm sure that everybody likes mercy. Am I right? By the way, we have uh, uh, he's my professor, Father Florencio Lagura. May I ask you? Father, do you like mercy? Yes, of course, I like mercy also. Everybody likes mercy. But the problem is, everybody is not merciful. We want mercy only. That is why we pray to God, Oh God, have mercy on me, have mercy on me. I'm suffering with this and that. My family is suffering. My country is suffering, suffering, so and so forth. We pray that God will be merciful to us. Of course, we have to pray. And also, it's, we have to remember that we have to be merciful to one another also. Otherwise, uh, we will be selfish. We want mercy from God, from others. But we don't want to share we don't want to be merciful to others. This is the problem. That is why uh, my point here is that brothers and sisters be merciful to one another. So I ask you to pray for Mimur so that the brutal military generous or junta will be come merciful, will be merciful to the civilians of Myanmar. Why? Because since the first day of February and day now, the innocent and the unarmed people of Myanmar are being killed, tortured, and uh, put in prison by the, uh, by the brutal military junta. And uh, the teachers, engineers, doctors, uh, the, the children, the young are being killed. No mercy at all from the military junta of Myanmar. And uh, 5,000 plus people are arrested and they are put in prison now. And the arresting is going on in Myanmar. No mercy. So, uh, there will be 
mercy from the part of military yonder of Myanmar, we have to pray for the people of Myanmar, for Myanmar also. Now, let me go to my second point that is uh, about the justice. There is no justice in Myanmar. People suffered one year for COVID-19, right after COVID, uh, for it is until now, and uh, there was a military coup. Why? Because uh, the military junta doesn't practice justice. It wants power only. So in order to connect with the gospel and justice and the power from the gospel of, of today, it says James and John, they requested Jesus to give them power by sitting one at the right and one at the left. The commander in chief of Myanmar, before he took over from the democratically elected government, he went to the lady Aung San asking her to make him president of Myanmar. The lady denied two times. After denying two times, the commander in chief of Myanmar arrested the democratic leader of San Suu Kyi and also the civilian president of Myanmar and other uh, officials of the uh, democratically elected governments of Myanmar. So my point here is that there is no justice because the military junta is uh, killing and threatening and torturing the unarmed civilians of Myanmar by the weapons, guns. From the last part of the gospel of today is that uh, Jesus says, if you want to be great among all, you must be slave of all. So it means that we have to be servant, we have to serve others, not to kill. But the problem is that the generous of Myanmar, they want to be great. But it is opposite from what Jesus says today. That is to serve. Instead of serving, they are killing. So, my brothers and sisters, I think it is no problem. We love power. Well, everybody loves power. But Jesus reminds us that if we love power, we have to serve. That's all. So, brothers and sisters, let us pray that all our leaders in the whole world will be the servants of their civilians civilians in fact the duty of the military of every country is just to protect and serve the civilians well it is sad to say that it is happening against it in Myanmar I'm also uh, I'm sure that not only in Myanmar but also in some parts of the whole world so last Monday uh, in the eastern of Myanmar there was a church and the military Yunda fired happy weapons like bombs, artillery. So the church was destroyed and four people died. And some, did, uh, some people got wounded. Those people are inside the church compound and in the church. The church was as a shelter for them because civil war is going on in the eastern, western, and northern part of Myanmar. So there are so many refugees. They are hiding themselves in the forest, on the mountains. And then there is, this is rainy season now in Myanmar. 
those people on, uh, in the forest and uh, on the mountains, they suffer the rain at night and day also. Because Myanmar doesn't have good leaders, only the brutal leaders. They are generous. So, brothers and sisters, please pray for Myanmar so that the mercy of God will be showered upon the people of Myanmar. Of course, for all the people who are suffering and whose human rights are violated in our society. Thank you. Please rise.